I'm going to show you how to make good, healthy, delicious chicken tenders right in your truck. Hello, I am the Oklahoma Tomcat and I am here at the Road Angel Trucker Center where you can get free food, free laundry, free shower, and plenty of truck parking. The sad part is you will not find this place just driving by on the interstate, nor will you find this at, at, uh, on many GPS uh, GPSs. So how do truck drivers find out about this place? Well, there's an app for that. Trucker Path is a trucker GPS and more than just truckers can use it. That is easy to use and it has a whole lot more information than most of your GPS units. Not only will it tell you the best route to take and the time to take there and all that stuff, but it also gives you way station information updated by fellow truckers. And it also gives you more than just truck stops. But it also gives you other parking places where truck drivers can park. It also gives you a lot more information on those locations. Giving you the park, uh, what the parking status is and also reviews by other truck drivers. This way, so you can tell whether it's a place you want to park at what services they have and all the other stuff and you will know whether how much parking there is before you even get there. That's Trucker Path. You'll find the uh, link in the uh, description of this video. Click on it, download it. You can download it for free and many services are free on there. Check it out. That Trucker Path. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing? Now things are going okay here. Uh, my truck went into shop and uh, it's been in the shop since uh, Wednesday. Actually, the truck broke down Tuesday and had to be towed to the shop. So I'm here in the hotel, stuck in Joplin, Missouri. But this gives me an opportunity to show you one of the foods I love and how it can be cooked in the truck easily and a lot healthier. And chicken. Chicken is good for you. Uh, it does have lots of protein and it. it's lean meat uh, and also very convenient. Problem though, especially chicken tenders because it doesn't have the bone in it or anything, which I like. Problem is, a lot of your chicken tenders you buy in the stores and stuff like that at restaurants, gas stations, whatever, is unhealthy for you and has lots of carbs, in my opinion, rather bland. That's why you normally have to dip it in sauces and stuff, which is also unhealthy for you. But good news in the truck, we can cook chicken tenders. Now, chicken and fish is something I don't normally like to cook. Uh, that's because of my fear of, you know, bacterias and stuff like that. The good news is that with the air fryer, it is so much easier to cook and make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Now, I've already preheated the air fryer 400 degrees. And I've got the spice I like want to put in it. Now, when you buy your spices, uh, you do have to watch out. Unfortunately, a lot of these pre-mixed spices and stuff contain sugar in it. And that's something that you should be avoiding if you want to remain on a healthy diet. Um, and I don't understand it. Why put sugar in spices? I like savory stuff. I don't want spicy stuff, you know. Uh, in my opinion, sugar and spices, something you don't need. Uh, I, <laughs> not, 
you know, I like of things to be spicy, spice, spice, spicy, spice, you know. But I got my chicken here. I put it on a plate. Try to show it here. Let's do chicken tenders. All right, I'm going to put the, let's see if I can do this. All right. And what I just do is I just cover it real good. I like lots of spices, so let me put lots of spices. Flip it. And yes, I did wash my hands before doing this. Another thing, I don't like just touching raw foods, but there, lots of spice. Now, I preheated the air fryer to 400, 400 degrees. Yes, I gotta get the back over here. And I also oiled it. Put your chicken in there. Set the time for five minutes, about 400 degrees. So what I did is I uh, set the time for five minutes, 400 degrees, go through five minutes, then I flipped them over, and then do it for another five minutes. Now, for cooking chicken tenders, it says 10 minutes is enough. But... Like I've said before, I'm not, <laughs> chicken kind and fish kind of scare me <laughs> when it comes to cooking, even in the air fryer to a degree, even though the air fryer, I feel a lot more comfortable and I do it on a regular basis. But what I'm going to do is I flipped it over and I'm going to set it for another two minutes just to make sure it's cooked all the way through. And there you got it. Delicious, low carb chicken tenders that have a whole lot more flavor than the type you buy in the stores and what I've added to it is rice cauliflower and sweet potatoes the sweet potatoes are extremely good uh, they're good for you they're low they are low carb a um, lot less carbs than regular potatoes and in my opinion have a whole lot more flavor than uh, your regular potatoes but very easy to do. Yes, I do make these uh, this uh, in the truck. You're able to make it in the truck. Buy yourself a package of uh, chicken tenders, uh, chen uh, chicken tenderloins uh, at Walmart, and uh, you're able to air fry them, and very delicious. Air fry the uh, air fryer is a uh, one of my favorite things <laughs> to me it's the greatest invention in the world um i use my air fryer in the truck a lot you're able to make a lot of foods uh with it burgers chicken pork uh steak and it's uh especially great for people like me that's not very much of a for cooking uh meat in uh on a stove and stuff like that I say, if I can do it in the air fryer, anyone can. All you have to do is know the temperature and the time, set it, and you're good. Y'all have a great day, and enjoy.